twice a week in the winter, Air Berlin operates non-stop flights from Hanover to Arvidsjauer in the north of Sweden. When we arrived, we travelled by snowmobile to the hotel on the first day of our journey through the north of Sweden. In the evening, we visited a reindeer farm and saw the town on kickslets. The next morning, we took part in a training course for safe driving under extreme conditions. On the way there, it became clear why the elk test was invented here. Learn to break hard and avoid an obstacle is this exercise. I'm going to speed up, up the hill, I'm going to up to uh, maybe 65 km an hour. And I have brake cones and I brake and avoid and back. And the very important in this exercise is brake hard. The hardest you can and steering smoothly. Another stage is the roundabout and the question arises how fast can you drive without losing control of the car? I'm excited a bit because I'm not used to driving under these conditions of course and I'm curious about what it's going to be like and whether I react correctly and don't total the car. How the car drives, do you see? I would actually like to go on the motorway with it now. Driving with the fire engine is not as fast, but just as much fun. Lots of snow and temperatures of minus 30 degrees. Of course, there's a snow plow on this driving safety course. And another vehicle attracts attention, an old rally Volvo with heavily studded tires. Finally, it is tested what the Audi TTRS is capable of and how it comes that this car has 250 kilowatts and an all-wheel drive. In the evening, a more down-to-earth pace. In the museum, the travel group can relax. Except for the seals, all of the animals exhibited here occur here in wildlife within a radius of 35 kilometers. I think the most spectacular animal in this room is, is the wolverine. It's uh, loved by some and it's hated by many more. <laughs> this one will scare the bear away because it's such, so fierce. It's, it's like a statue of muscle. It's just pure muscle. And for other animals, muscle and anger, but it's very, very shy for people. This has a capacity to kill, to kill many, many, up to maybe 20, 30 reindeer in one day. But of course, leaves a lot of food for everyone else. So you must remember that it has its place in nature. Of the river. So Johannes the doesn't road. only show us around his exhibition. He also accompanies us to a remote hut, our night's lodging. No electricity, no running water, but with a campfire and delicious food prepared by Johannes himself. And this is what you can expect in the third part of the series. A ride in an icebreaker and a swim in water of three degrees Celsius. I'm frightened a bit. And we also look forward to visiting a husky farm. You can soon see more about it on Hannover Airport TV.